Why, hello everyone. Welcome to Playframe and to Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. Are you ready for an experience? Are you ready for an experience, everyone? Oh, I'm talking to you, Dan. Me? I'm so ready for an experience because I've gotten a taste and I... Listen, we're not, we're not spoiling any surprises. I'm joined today by my friend Dan Emmons once again. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Please leave in the comments. <laughs> Who will be providing color commentary and also provided the copy of the game that we're playing. Because this is a game that I am only barely familiar with, largely because you've shown me a little bit of it before. And I'm so excited to share it now with the rest of you. Let's begin. Yeah, so we talked a little bit about it. Yes, we are going to have to use the controller pack yes. for this one, uh, which I did have to go out and get right before this. Um, <laughs> okay, plot. Plot. Pay attention, everyone. Yeah. There's a lot to keep up with. Yeah. All right, there's a bird. The bird is irrelevant, but it is setting the tone. <laughs> We're going to have a good time, everyone. Yeah, but for the most part, like I also have not played this game in a long time. So like I, I barely remember any of this. Uh, so it's going to be a discovery experience for both of us. But I, I do remember some I do remember this game is bonkers. Yes, in a wonderful way. Uh, yeah. So, for example, uh, those are our main characters there. <laughs> Getting kicked out of a store. Getting kicked out of a store. One of them is naked, uh, for the most part. Oh, we didn't talk about this before. Who's going to be who? Oh, yeah. Here, I'll be going. Ebisimaru. Why, you've taken all your clothes off. I thought that I could negotiate a discount <laughs> <laughs> with my hypnotic dance. Discount? We've been thrown out of the store because of your dance. He just couldn't understand the beauty in it. Me! <laughs> you worry me. <laughs> what? What's happening? Huh? Now to introduce a new element. Yes, alien spaceships have invaded uh, old Edo Tokyo. Um, this will not be explained for several hours. <laughs> You're just going to have to go with us on this. What was that great big thing just now? Going on. Yeah. Isn't that direction to Oedo Castle? Pretty nice cinematography, actually. Yeah, I mean, for N64, this actually is uh, very well shot. Ooh. Mysterious. I've arrived at my destination. Hmm, let's first attack this castle. <laughs> I guess she kind of did that for me. I didn't really have to. Still, right. you nailed it. Yeah. Well, I understand some of you watching are probably feeling a little bit unmoored and like we've not explained a lot yet. Um, get used to that feeling. And, yeah. And get comfy. Yep. Uh... Well, 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 isn't it so peaceful here? Wait? What's that commotion? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. What's going on? Castle's different now. Castle's different now. If we just proceed with our cunning plans. <laughs> Sorry, I thought of thought of a joke from earlier today <laughs> tell me the one about the plumber again <laughs> i really enjoyed that one. Oh no oedo castle the lord's place again it's been really a night oh Whoa. okay in any case we can't just sit here follow me abysimar wait wait for me and for me to talk also please <laughs> i'm not in control of this i haven't changed yet <laughs> no time give me a moment to go home and get changed to something decent Ah, oh, heck. <laughs> <laughs> well, hurry up. <laughs> this one's the character made for you. <laughs> it does seem like. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. Video game start. Video game start. All right, so. Tell people about this game. Uh, so this is an action platformer, I guess, is probably the best way to describe it. That feels right. Um, 3D, uh, kind of. Um, it is... Man, how... <laughs> so there was... So this is the second Goemon game, to my knowledge. The first one was only released in Japan, I think? 
there's a lot I don't know about this game. Um, Fair enough. Uh, it is the first game that I bought with my own money from people who watched the Battle of Dan's episodes. Yeah. Will, will remember. Um, and I played it a lot. Uh, I the uh, the thing that I that I remember most about is that you do need a a controller pack to play it. That is true. It won't save on its own. Yeah. So I played the first half of this game many times because I did not have a controller pack when I first got it. Aww. Uh But yeah. So. Uh, in, in classic retro game fashion, uh, alien spaceship destroys the castle. Uh, well, changes the castle into something that is still a castle, as far as I could tell. Uh, <laughs> a side grade of a, a castle. A side grade of a castle. Yeah. And then... All right, the aliens, the aliens, the aliens. Yeah, that kid That kid is basically us at this point. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> like, there's aliens, that's all we got. Uh, we're just going to have to go with this. Go in on tenements. Wait, are you a landlord? Am I? I guess. Oh, my God. Wow. I didn't realize that this game was capitalist propaganda. <laughs> I apologize. I was young. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Listen, we were all we were all young when this came out. Yep. Uh, so yeah. So basically, our only goal that we have right now is we have to go find the castle, which will be difficult because uh, there, the landmarking in this game is not great. Um, as a, as a uh, as a developer, I would say it's great asset reuse. Um, <laughs> But in this particular case, it, it will not help us find a way. So we're going to have to do quite a bit of exploring. We will make it work. Uh, so, yeah. So let's see. I can swim. Yeah. Take that, Dark Souls. <laughs> uh, Elden Ring doesn't have anything on this. All right. So we got a basic attack combo thing here. That works. Jumps. Jump attack. Uh, with the Z button, I can nothing. With the R button, I can nothing with C buttons. Ooh, I'm cycling through some weapons. items there, it seems like. Yep. So now you have a different weapon. Ooh. Uh, oh, well, I found a feature. Yes. You also have multiple playable characters that you can switch between at any time. Uh, it is... This is Ebisumaru. He's got a hammer. I don't think he does anything else different yet, but uh, the characters that you get have different abilities as time goes on. Different animations, too. I'm leveling the characterization here. The difference between just like between this guy, dude who skips and then sort of like frantic runs versus our like main hero. Does he have a, yeah, he's got like a tiny little jog. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And then he goes into full run. More determined shonen protagonist run. Yep. Very important. The run on any shonen protagonist is a big deal. Absolutely. What's the fuss? Everyone's in a tizzy over some flying peach. You won't be able to steal my heart using just a flying peach. Nope. <laughs> well said. Uh, You're, you've like, you're an old per an old soul. <laughs> yeah, this person this person is very advanced for her age. Uh, so these uh, if you're going on an adventure, it would be wise to purchase an item at the general store. Thank it'll, you. It'll come in handy when certain emergencies arise. Certain emergencies. <laughs> Ominous. Uh, so yeah, I was about to explain it, but thank you, helpful NPC. Those are item shops. You can get items there Ooh. that will heal you if you. Uh, I think they they activate automatically. But okay, uh, let's see what we got. Let's we have, have a look. We have some money. We do have some money. This is an inn, I think. Oh, an inn. Welcome. What brings you here today? What's my adventure diary? I believe that is save. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, the in fiction adventure diary. I love it. The classic uh, A button when you are ready to save. I forgot how like how how serious saving was back in the day. I really love the way that games of this era specifically started really like coming up with diegetic explanations for a lot of like things like game camera, like a Lakitu holding an actual yeah, camera yeah. and saving is a thing that is an in-game journal. So to try to like draw attention to it and make you like <laughs> think of it and you to introduce it to you in a very simple way. Yeah, because I mean, everything at this point was so... Uh... I just can't settle down until I eat and eat and eat. <laughs> so... I'll have some kiwi dumplings, iced tea, curry, custard rice cake, and cinnamon rice crackers. Oops, I forgot my wallet. Oh, dear. Oh, no. <laughs> These are also comedy games, if you hadn't already guessed. This coffee shop says you have to drink your coffee while standing up. But that's okay, because this is where the Omitsu, uh, where Omitsu, the most beautiful woman in town, works. <laughs> I... How is that... What? <laughs> it feels a little bit you like could, a non sequitur. Yeah, you could... I mean, you could sit... And, and look at beautiful people. That's. Ooh, you have a little. Like, yeah. Important pick. character, ahoy. <laughs> What's going on out there? 
A strange UFO has come to town. A UFO? You you mean like a flying saucer? Does that mean aliens have come? Basically. I, I, the question is up to you, really. <laughs> uh, th this will be... I don't... I'm trying to remember if it ever is explained. I don't know that it is. <laughs> I would like to think... So, like, but I feel like... I don't know a whole lot about Goemon, but I feel like this is a character that has that like in Japan is popular and maybe like shows up in a lot of things. I believe I mean like it's a folklore character, right? Like right, yeah. um so maybe that there's this like just a whole lot of folklore and cultural touchstones that are just unfamiliar to us. Yeah, that like they would assume basically building a would pipe know. is like a thing and Yeah. Yeah. Um, well the only way to pass this checkpoint is to get the super pass from the Lord. Oh. I, <laughs> the super pass I you see. say. Uh well we don't have that. Uh I'll go looking. What's All up? Right. You're gesturing at me. I believe that is the idle animation for basically every character. <laughs> I like it. This is Oedo Town. It's where the real Edo people live. <laughs> yeah, the real ones. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, I think we have. I think that's actually the, the gate out of town, and so we have to go find the, the super first pass. engine. Yeah. All right. So here's a shop. Yep. Welcome. Are you looking for something? A sombrero? A straw? Okay. Okay. A straw <laughs> raincoat. Localization was not. <laughs> uh, let's. It's called mystical ninja starring going on. Let's not. Let's not critique the localization <laughs> here too hard. Um, Metal I, armor. I believe these are like items that will take a certain number of hits for you. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Uh, cool. All right. I'm fine for now. Yeah. And if I'm not, we'll find out together. Exactly. I think th this game is not. Uh, I would not describe it as, you know. Dark Souls level difficult or something. <laughs> um, so I think you got to turn around and go. So we got to uh, this way. Yes. Okay. That, that that unsuspecting hole in the wall. I got gotcha. you. I believe that is the critical path. Ooh, perfect. Hello. Mokube, the pipe maker who moved to Mount Fuji, is a UFO maniac. But for a UFO to appear after he moved. I should have taped it for him on a video camera. <laughs> so we got a little, yeah, it's, I, th I think like a lot of this game kind of comes back down to like, um, like the, like old Japanese cinema type things, right? It's, it's shot in a way where it's like, it's old Edo period piece plus like anachronistic comedy. Yeah. Uh, Ag. I can feel my blood rushing. Why is blood in quotes, sir? I don't know. I want to totally master the art of swordsmanship. <laughs> you, you realize blood is a real thing in people's bodies, right? Like <laughs> that's not something that the swords the swords masters just made up. Oh boy. Yep. Excuse me. Sir. Yes. What is the matter? Um I want to know the way to Where do you want to go? Which way is Oedo Castle? To, you can get to Oedo Castle by passing this gate and over the Nihonbashi Bridge. Oh, perfect. Can I... There we go. Great. This one does not require a super pass. Fantastic. I'm off. All right. Are you ready for your first dungeon? Heck yeah, I am, I hope. Oh, that's right. We need an item. Never mind. Oh, no. We'll turn around. We're leaving. <laughs> uh... So, yes. First, we must visit Mount Fuji. Gotcha. So, yeah, the, the structure of this game pretty much follows like a classic kind of... Um, excuse me. Yes, you did just get robbed. Come back here. Also, yeah, and, and then you did murder that that poor man. Um, <laughs> he did, he did, he did make off with some of your money. But that's, sure did. that's more a lesson than anything. My dad would call that a cheap lesson. <laughs> um, but I did learn something, so... Yeah, and that's, and really that's, that's what it's all about. Um, so yeah, the structure of this game is kind of like traditional, like N64 era, like you're going to go collect different weapons that unlock different areas and you're going to advance the story by doing meet talking to people and, you know, eventually getting enough skills or the item to pass the checkpoint or whatever. It does feel like I feel in the mix of controls and in like the structure of it. I've, it this feels like a perfect halfway between Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time. Yeah. In it, a lot of different ways. Yeah, I think it, it takes after Zelda more than um, most other things, I would say. But it is kind of like a it leans itself more into an action game than it is anything else, I would say. I gotcha. 
Um, not a not a particular like the action is not going to blow anybody's hair off, but uh, all right. It's charming though. I'm yes. definitely going in a wrong. Well, here's oh, a way. Here's yes. a path. All right. I do need to find my way to Mount Fuji though, so I need to ask someone for directions yeah. again. Uh, beat Don't. him up. Beat him up. Fight him. Fight mm -hmm. him with your pipe. Ha -ha. Oh, Get my God. out of here. Excellent. For shame. For shame. <laughs> Vigilante <laughs> justice. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yes? Oops. I want to know the way to Mount Fuji, please. Must pass through the gate with the red pillars near the Thunder Gate. Thunder Gate. This will lead you to the Fortune Teller, where you must turn the corner and go straight. Hope you're writing this down. <laughs> uh, there you will find the Kai Highway, which will lead directly to Mount Fuji. They have several ways of, like, bolding different words. Yeah. It's like yellow or in brackets or in quotes. All right. Uh, that was a big red gate. Uh, that's that one. Which one might be Wait. the thunder gate, though? I think that the thing you're in front of is the thunder gate. So I think the one behind you has the red pillars, right? Uh, was yeah, that? that's red, right? Yeah, red adjacent. It's close enough. It's N64 red. Okay, there we go. There we go. And that's the fortune teller, and then we can keep going past. And Perfect. We, yep. We've done it. All right. First hurdle overcome. Hooray! Welcome to Kai Highway, everyone. Go. Me yeah. Uh, yep. That's... This is my enemy. Yep, this is... The face of my enemy. <laughs> God, how... It, <laughs> terrifying, really. Um... Ooh, dungo. Yep. Those are your health items. Also, the, the music in this game rocks. Yeah, it, it actually does... It, it like... I want to say it like it's higher audio quality than I'm used to from games like this, but I don't actually know that for sure. Um, but it's also just like banger after banger, like... It's like, like as somebody who as a kid who did not know much about Japan, like it's really cool getting like the fusion, like old Japanese instrument plus new rock and roll sound beats. Absolutely. Hey, you, you're a traveler. It's true. How would you like a map of Japan to assist you on your voyage? Heck yeah. I'll sell it to you for a discount. How about it? Yes, I really want it. Awesome. I like the way you <laughs> said that. The enthusiasm. I like people like you. Here, you can have it no charge. Hey! If only it were this easy. We'll call this a present to you. Wait. I don't like the way you emphasize Receive this. Receive map of Japan, <laughs> free of charge. Step outside any building and press the start button, and you can switch to the map button and back using the Z button. Perfect. Why are they different buttons? That's a good question. UX was not invented until <laughs> 2012. Um, Whoa. So, what a backdrop. Yep. And... <laughs> Map! Hooray! I like a cool 3D map. Yeah. No, it's, uh... Look at this. Look at it. It's Japan. Welcome to Japan. <laughs> Welcome to Japan, everyone. Yeah, it's, uh... We're here. Yeah, we made it. Finally. <laughs> it's been a while. This is really cute. Little witch's hat over there. That was cool. Love it. Uh... Yeah, these are our characters. And here we go. We're back on the road. We're back on the road again. I feel like my... The only exposure I had to this game prior to you showing it to me a while back was... Like, as a frequenter of Overclocked Remix back in the day, I would occasionally see some remixes from a game with this title and be like, oh, that's pretty catchy. Yeah. Interesting. And then I just never, ever encountered this game in the wild in any way. I don't see how you would have. <laughs> it, uh, it's not it's not breaking anybody's, like, top 10 N64 games of all time list, but uh, it's charming. It, ha it has, like... I think, it, like, anybody who was super into games in the era that we were, I think has a lot of like, they all have, we all have that one game that was like, oh, this is our introduction to another culture or way of doing things. Yeah. Right? Like, something so wild and out of left field. Like Katamari Damacy was probably this for a lot of people as well. Oh Just yeah. Like, this is, this in no way, shape or form could have come from a culture that I am familiar with. <laughs> um, and it's cool and it has its own charm and, and pieces to it that like, it definitely like, feels like you're learning about something. Absolutely. Uh, you can jump over there. Oh, for, we should do that first. For one of our first oh. secrets. Ooh, secrets. Yes. Okay. Uh, the secret was not the boulder, but ah. uh, I should have, yeah. Hello. Hello. Received a silver fortune doll. With three more, your strength gauge will increase by one. It's a heart piece. Hooray. All right. All right. So all the heart pieces are lucky cat dolls. Love it. Uh, which look suspiciously like your cats. It's, it's kind of true, silver, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got heart pieces. 
We've got platforming here. The controls are only mildly terrible. This is like, yeah, I honestly, I I expected kind of worse. Like the the attacks are a little wonky, but like yeah. the uh, just running and jumping is all feeling all right so far. Yeah, so. I don't think I control the camera. That's yeah, that yeah. one. We're still working on that. We haven't we haven't figured that one out for Miyamoto yet. It's in 64. It's <laughs> yep. We're learning a lot of things right now. Yeah, it's the Wild West. Collectively. Yep. All right, first platforming challenge. Oh boy. Spinning, spinning boards of Ooh. doom. Oh, there's two of them. Watch out. Oh, there's two. There's two. I'm okay. Easy. Get out of here. L large health bar. Which I'm I really appreciate. Them. Yep. Games with large health bars are. God, the enemy design in this game is terrifying. <laughs> that is pretty. I like the face. Yeah. That helps a little. But then, yeah, this is a lot. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. What's. Oh, okay. I have a hammer. Yep. You, you do a weird combo with it. It is a weird little watch combo. Watch out, watch out. Oh, wait. Yep. Wait. Yes. You've uh -huh. learned. I've learned. I'm thinking you mastering your game skills. <laughs> All right. Slinkies of Doom. Can you solve the slinky puzzle? There's a real neat twist on the thwomp. Yeah. <laughs> they do look like thwomps. Right. Cool. You're right. This game is basically Mario 64. It's a really fun blend, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it works. Like, it does the trick, I think, especially as it kind of, like, it does a pretty good job of of differentiating. The, I mean, it doesn't do a great job of differentiating the characters, but it's enough that, like, um, they each kind of have their own thing, and it gives them a little bit more personality. Yeah. Outside of just getting naked or whatever the, this, this guy's whole deal is. Getting naked is not a personality, sir. Yeah. We, we're going to need you to take that one back to the shop. Uh, it's like, uh, excuse me, Mr. Game Designer, you just, this person just gets naked all the time. Like, yeah, that's his thing. Uh, kids will love him. Kids will love, kids, kids love that, right? Right? Uh, hello? No, it's okay. It's that easy to reach the summit of Mount Fuji. Yep. And we're here. Uh, so yeah, Woo. welcome, welcome to uh, the top of Mount Fuji. Here is, here is the renowned weaponsmith. Ah, uh, he, hello. He's looking great. Great face on that yeah, one. Yeah, great face, great animations, really. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow, I'm impressed you made it this far. What do you want from me? Um, what are you doing here? <laughs> do you, do you have a good pipe? Again, not a lot is explained. Uh, but. But you know, we do we do have to choose that option. Yeah, like the game's you, asking the questions I didn't know to. Yeah, exactly. Pipe. Let me think. Well, let's see. Yes, <laughs> I know. Take this. I'm honored to hand you. He's got pipes all along the wall. There. Oh, that's true. Wait a second. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. No, <laughs> let me think. I don't know if I have any pipes. Hang on. Mm. <laughs> Uh, I'm honored to hand you my pipe. It attaches to the block with the star mark. Oh! Chain pipe! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah, his name is Rad. It is now possible to attach this to the star mark and across large gaps. Ooh. Uh, so yeah, so that is uh, an item for the other character. Gotcha, okay. Well, let's swap back. Yeah. Boom. And then, okay. Uh, so yeah, you have to change. It's a different weapon. Different weapon. Okay. So let's see. Uh, whoop, nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, there Still we learning. go. There we go. Oh. So now you have like a little ranged attack. Cool. Wow. Uh, and bad uh, step. Yep. Okay. I'm fine. We're though. fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Nobody panic. Nothing to worry about. This is normal. Happens all the time. Ooh. I'm not. I'm not I believe that is a full health heal. Uh. So yeah, I think there's like a couple other ways you could, I think there's just like money or something out the other. Yeah, I thought I saw another little door or two out here. Yeah, there's. Uh, ooh, here we go. Extra door. Yep. Pots. Pots. I, yeah. Oh. Oh. It's all right. These things happen. They happen to the best of us. <laughs> uh, I mean, who among us has not thrown gold coins off of a mountain? <laughs> and immediately regretted it. Yeah. I think there's a ladder here. Careful. Nope. 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 <laughs> we're gonna we're, we're gonna be doing that a lot. I think it's just like I think there's the, the, this thing that I vaguely remember now. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna find our way through this together. Yes. And honestly, not knowing exactly what to do, 
Oh, yeah, there's We're no, fine. There's no fall damage. That's great to know. It's 1998 or whatever. <laughs> Not knowing exactly what to do feels like it is appropriate and kind of completes the experience. Yep. Uh, oh, hello. Excuse me, sir. Thank there you. we go. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Watch out. Look at the reach on this boy. That is... might be wrong. Oh, yeah, right. no, we're, we we can leave Mount Fuji. Yeah, we don't even need to go in, inside. We can. We've we've cleaned out the mountain. Uh, Woo! Wahoo! Ah, Body slide. slide. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. God, what a hero. Uh, but yeah, th this this is this is kind of the first. Uh, you know. I can't. I guess. What would, what would I like? This is kind of like the 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 Kokiri Forest part of Zelda. It's like move oh, yeah. around, do some things, learn how to move. Give you some space to get comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why they chose to do it on a mountain where there's a lot of falling that can happen. <laughs> I won't. I won't defend that particular choice, but. What a nice highway. Yeah. All right. Well, we now have a fancy thing that'll get us through that other little door path. Yes, the castle. Get out of my way. We can finally go back to that, that dungeon that I promised you all those minutes ago. Fantastic. Yeah, that, that's like, that, like it's a sizable open area. It really is. Yeah, I don't know that there's anything in it, but you know what, good on them for putting the polygons there. Go. <laughs> Ow. What happens if I use money? Uh, it's a thrown weapon. It throws my money away. Yeah, it does. It does. It does exactly that. <laughs> uh, Effective though. Oh, it does the trick. Um, you can do this in real life too, by the way. Yeah, people will explode if you throw coins at them. <laughs> God, I, I always, uh, I always hate having like ex extraneous numbers, like when I don't have an even number of coins. So I always have to throw my coins in like. Gotta like even it up. Sets of five, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just. I'm not that way about coins, but there are a lot of things that I am that way about for no good reason. Mm hmm. It's always really like a nice sign. I want to find out what the fortune teller does. It's a really uh, nice sign. I don't know if you're ready for the fortune teller. Am I not ready for the fortune teller? I might not. You were right. So. Plasma! <laughs> Plasma man. Howdy. <laughs> Welcome to the Plasma Fortune Teller. I will solve your worries for ten re Plasma. Yes, please. Okay, well then let's get started. That's a lot. Plasma! <laughs> Use the train pipe to cross the damaged bridge and enter Oedo Castle. Plasma. That makes sense. All right, so 10 coins for a hint. Appreciate yep. it. What? There's, that, a, there's a lot going on there's here. There's a lot, yeah. You know, I just realized that he's on top of like a like a voodoo stuffy doll type thing. Yeah. Um, Confidently. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I could be forgiven for not noticing it given what else is going on. Yeah, um, there's a lot. Yep. Plasma. Yeah, plasma. What do you think the Dark Souls lore explanation is for those <laughs> statues? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see. Either they are, like, the obvious assumption is that they are, like, sort of, like, bodyguards or support. Mm -hmm. Perhaps they are more like jail keepers, though. Like, they're oh, yes, yeah. holding him there. Plas plasma Man it has been wanting to escape for a long time. It's a nice little, like, pook sound. Yep. I like it. Uh, Satisfying. Castle is back the other way. That's good, like, good, 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 yes, good, good. That gate right there, I believe. <laughs> That's the one. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Haha. All right. Yes, okay. Yeah, any game with music good enough to where you can shut up and know that, don't worry. Everyone's still having a very good Everyone's time. Everyone's bopping. <laughs> it's a good game. All right. Let's try out our new toy. Ooh, yeah. It's a hook shuttle. So. Yep. Cool. So, ah, oh, good catch, saved good, catch good catch. There's a heart piece the other way. Ooh. I don't know how completionists are going to be getting. You know, like, well, more health for me in my first attempt going through here is going to be really good. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, yeah, the camera is, is uh, <laughs> not helpful. <laughs> okay. Making it. We're making it work. Yeah. You 
making the dream work. Yeah. Boink. There's something really satisfying about this weapon. Yeah, the the kathunk. It's got it's got good hit effects. Yeah. Okay, be careful now. Careful. Platforming challenge for no reason. <laughs> yeah, this is. I have complaints for the city planner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeffrey, what did you do with the bridge? <laughs> it looks like a snake. <laughs> Why does it look like a snake, Jeffrey? I like snakes. I like snakes are red. <laughs> Why doesn't your bridge look like a snake? <laughs> Check me. Listen to that. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> bow, bow, bow. See, this feels like... Feels like dog. <laughs> feels like dog. <laughs> I've been watching the Elden Ring play through. I can't tell. Oh, thank you. That was that's nostalgic feeling now. Thank you. Yeah, I realize this is probably like six months ago for you now. <laughs> it was a while ago, but take that pot. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, welcome to your first dungeon. Ooh, we made it. We made it. Yay. You know, as good as Zelda is, those pots don't blow up. Those pots do not blow up. Really, we're it this is innovation. <laughs> You gotta spend money to make money. <laughs> Give a little, get a little, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's an investment in our future, really. <laughs> All right. All right, choices. Boom. All Boom. right. There's this, which could... I'm guessing there's another one over. Yes. I've made my choice. Sight unseen. Come on. There we go. Oh, you have chosen well. Yay, look at that. Yeah, this is this is where the, the finicky controls can get you. <laughs> it don't lock on very good. Yeah, Super or at key. all. Wait a minute. Yes. Hang on. Okay, so I was like every now and then testing my the Z button, but I hadn't done so while standing still. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can do the worm. <laughs> um, Yay! One of the best. I I would venture to guess one of the best crawl animations of all time. I adore this. I'm not an expert. You're the expert. You can make that determination. Yeah, no, I, I can confirm. Okay. Definitely one of the best. And now I also need to see... Uh, ooh. Yep. <laughs> we got to go the other way. Of course. His nose is far too large to be put on the ground <laughs> and do the worm that way. And Lord knows we have to do the worm. Heck yeah. Um, uh, wonderful. God, what a pair of characters. Okay, let's get... Back a camera. Let's get back across. Here we go. We can do it. Oh god. In a minute. Hey, nice teeter though. Eh, come on. Nice. Got there. Eh. Eh. Come on. There we are. I see that if I had chosen the other direction, it would have been a very short. It would have been a short uh, tra uh, transgression. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can't really talk either. Like, I'm enjoying the tunes a little too much. Ah, sh it's okay. I'm fine. I, I can swim. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it, it's it is like it's like a good chill vibe that the game like clearly not taking itself too seriously. Yeah. Good tunes. Throwing money around. <laughs> really, what more could you want from a Zelda Zelda like? There's lots to like, and I do feel like I'm seeing some some kind of upgrade looking thing over there. Yep. Let's look into that. Oh, yes. Yes. That's... Mr. Elephant. Now you have access to the map showing the inside of the castle. That's our Take map. Take that localization. That's our map. That's our map, <laughs> Mr. Elephant. Mr. Elephant. Love it. Oh, my goodness, this game. <laughs> what a... So... Like, I know that we did, you did mention it in the Battle of the Dan's, like, playthrough, but now just to remind me, like, what what drew you to this game as a child? Uh, like most decisions that I made as a child, it was mostly down to Nintendo Power. Um, because I got that, I had the magazine subscription for those of you, oh god, who, are, who don't remember what a magazine subscription is. <laughs> um... Nintendo used to put out a monthly magazine called Nintendo Power and get subscribed to it, and it had all the latest and greatest news on video games from Nintendo. Um, and yeah, most—I mean, like a lot of times when you when you like that's usually the only media you would have about a game. So it, you would read the magazine, you'd look through it, and be like, "Oh, this this game 
looks cool. I want that game. Uh, and then you would just think about it and, and save up your money and, to get it that way. Yeah. Uh, it was Nintendo Direct you paid for, but yeah. also came with like with like a little bit of game facts snuck in too, I suppose. Yeah, little game facts. They usually would like put in enough stuff to get you through the first couple levels of, of something. Developer interviews, that kind of thing. Um, also occasionally came with videos on the Rumble Pack. Oh, yeah. Wild. Uh, eh. Yeah, I don't know what these things are. I do, like... Oh, it my. Fe it feels like some kind of, like, traditional Japanese doll of some kind, but I don't right? know that for sure. It's my assumption as well. Yeah. Listen, if there's anyone in comments who is very familiar with Goemon yeah. and knows all the lore, please actually do share with us. Yeah, I'm going to read the comments for this one. Very excited to learn. Yeah. Uh... But yeah, no, it's Nintendo Power. Like, I feel like, I mean, how else were you going to get your gaming news in 1999? There really wasn't a good way. Yeah, it's like that in apocryphal stories in the playground. Yep, was basically all you had. Maybe if you're lucky, an ad on a commercial, like a commercial. Yeah. In between what? cartoons. What? Uh, I think we want to go past over the water again. Oh, okay. There's a key door back there. Oh, that's right. I, I did just pick up a key, huh? Yep. Um. Yeah, like, what... Were there any big advertising campaigns for video games back then? Like, I, I can't... I'm There must have been, but I can't remember. There were some, but I feel like it was really only for the big hits. It was for... It was for, like, if a, a Mario 3 is out, a Sonic is out, and is, like... Like, marketing itself as a... Improve, uh, like as an improvement over whatever Nintendo is doing. Yeah. Those clowns. Se yeah, Se Sega does what Nintendo does. Exactly. Et cetera. But it's, it really is just for like the, uh, for the big but heavy hitters. But you didn't hitters. see that one coming. I absolutely did not. Um, I appreciate you throwing away that last money. You bet. Uh, Getting you that nice nearest nice five. Divisible of by five. Oh, look at the Matrix moves on this guy. Oh. All ah. intentional. Yep. I assure you. Hey. Did I do it? I think I did it. I think you did it. Is there another way out of this room? I feel like... Feels like there should be, right? Yeah. Because I don't think I have another key. I don't think so. Game says no. Game disagrees. Hmm. I had a little bit of this sort of conversation with Dan... Uh, year or so ago, but the idea of thinking about like what what kinds of old games getting a like a Nintendo Direct type announcement and segue and everything. Sometimes it's very like the idea of a Philips CDI Zelda getting sort of that bubbly like coming soon to Nintendo Switch. And then like yeah. <laughs> Princess <laughs> And then seeing some of that janky Philips CDI footage and really weird animation is a fun idea. I would I would be thrilled to see what the Nintendo Direct announcement for a mystical ninja goemon. Straight from the shores of Japan. <laughs> this Japanese folklore adventure <laughs> is here to throw money at your face. I think I think you were in the right spot. I'm actually I'm going to be that guy and I'm just going to look it up. I I'll allow it. Um, just farming some money in the meantime. Miss Ninja, go, Goemon, comma, Mystical Ninja. Ah. Oedo. Pass. One of the top search results is uh, Mystical Ninja starring Goemon Switch. Ooh. Really? Is that, like, aspirational or is that I real? I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. I hope. I wonder if it's, like, in the... Uh, among the, like, N64 titles that, uh, like, uh, you can actually play now. That'd be cool. A lot of they're they're, they're uh, they got a lot of niche interest ones in there. Yeah, they they they've expanded the catalog if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, game facts. Let's go. Heck yes. 
it was Friday. You know what that means? Blockbuster time. In a matter of seconds, I found Mystical Ninja. Ten <laughs> copies were there. Only two were missing, so I picked it up for the first time, not knowing what to expect. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Here to tell you that it rules. <laughs> okay, so it's September, and it's been out since March or sometime around there. But hey, better, better late than never, right? This is right. Wh- when yeah. was this written? Yeah, this is really charming. I thought so. Um, <laughs> this is adorable. Ultimate Guide for Mystical Ninja starring going on author Marshmallow. And then it has their email address. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to find a date. Is there is it a Q&A? The 45 cat statues. There's 45. 45 whole cat statues. Or at least. Okay. I would, yeah, please. Please go back. I, I desperately need to know where to go. Um... Perhaps I've simply missed a key elsewhere. I'll go backtrack a little bit. Highway, blah, 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 blah. You'll want to build up your funds to at least 1,000 coins. At okay. least? Yeah, we're not going to do that. Oh, man. Um, just try out the enemy's new so here. Chain pipe, blah, blah, blah. go to large. Defeat three of them and the key will appear. So I think oh. you, yeah, you have to, like. So I need to actually hit them. Yeah. Not enough to just... Yeah, you can't simply Matrix dodge them. Alas. All right, Marshmallow, we're going to be consulting you multiple times throughout this playthrough. <laughs> shout out to Marshmallow. Yeah, shout out. Shout out, <laughs> Marshmallow. I feel you. You may look back on, like, all of this hard work writing these things and wonder, like, did that matter? Did, like, was there any point in doing all that? Did anybody even care? Yes. No, know that yes. We remember you, and we're grateful. Yeah. All right, I got one. And... Who know. Don't no. know where that one went. Oh, oh Two. boy. Two? They're coming from all sides. Uh, come on. Yeah, let's Yay! go. All right. Ha 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 ha. Ah, they're uh, still coming. <laughs> so yeah, player signaling was also not invented until about 20, uh, 2004. <laughs> um, so. It was a dark time. It was a dark, it was dark, dark days. Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Got a little greedy there. Ah. You're fine. Is the reach on this upgradable? I hate, don't remember. It might be. You might have to jump for it. Might have to jump for it. Hey! Yay. That does feel like scary to try, but good to land. Yeah. I think they give you they gave you a little aim assist there. All right, gold key. Gold key. Got it. I I can do gold dongo. How do you feel about gold dongo? Pretty good. I was still like I was a couple hearts down. Yep. I'll take it. From oh boy. Just a narrow window to collect your stolen, exploded your, pop money. Yeah, your, your pop money. Which does mean something different. Yes. Um, but... Yeah, we can we can let that one go. <laughs> I'm okay with that, personally. Gonna have to go back. Yeah! That one wasn't as, as far. I think you could actually get that one over there. Yeah. Yeah. Bacha! Yeah, these weapons actually do feel quite good. Yeah. It's all sound design. Underrated when it comes to making things feel good. I feel like sound design is the thing that all of us in the industry as well forget so often. Yeah, it, it is like... It's like so far down on the list of things when it's like, okay, well, what do we need for our indie game? Yeah. And like sound design is never makes a list, but it's so... It's so valuable. Yeah, like the difference it makes. Yeah. It's just like the one thing that is like, oh, I'll just slap, like, I'll just slap something on there and it'll be fine. And it's just like, it's always way harder than you think. Yep. And once you get into the industry, the industry version is like, ah, we really should have remembered to bring like one of the, somebody from the audio team into that meeting. Yeah. It's like, oh no. <laughs> They're going to be quite cross with us later. Yeah. Can you put some sounds on this? It's absolutely not. <laughs> All right. Great. Thank you. Uh, we're sorry. We didn't get to you sooner. It's like, yeah, I know. Thank you. <laughs> Have gold key. Just need to get back to gold door. Yeah. The simplest of video game logic. Okay. All right. One more time. Boom. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. They're definitely aim assisting that a little bit, but in a way that feels very good. Yep. MLG gaming. 
I feel like I'm gonna be attacked. Uh, I'd say odds are good. Or Where are you? Ooh, hello, elevator. elevator. As is tradition in a, a Japanese castle. Oh, of course, the um, <laughs> little dongo floor cleaners. Yeah. I like it. That's adorable. Exactly. <laughs> I right? love them. It's cute. This game has has an aesthetic. This feels like this feels like this is a novelty model of like Roomba you should be able to buy. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Isn't why don't people sell like outfits or skins for their Roomba? <laughs> that has to be a niche. That has to be a thing, right? <laughs> Somebody has to be doing really well on Etsy doing yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. You know what? I'm, I mean, I know what I'm gonna look up later. <laughs> like, that's like that's what. Oh boy. That's what would convince me to get a Roomba. <laughs> yeah. See, I can dress it up. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. Little yeah. outfits? That's why that's like half the people who have dogs get dogs, right? <laughs> and when I feed this thing, like, the house gets cleaner. Yeah, exactly. Strength grade gauge increased by one. Hooray. All right. Heart piece up. Yay. This is a big room for just a heart. This is a pretty big room with not a lot else in it. Yeah. But hey. It's a castle. What are you going to do? Uh, near, but <gasps> hang on. The Elden Ring is paying off. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Whoop. Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that middle one's just not falling. Oh, yeah, okay. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. But is that the direction I want to go, or is... Where am I trying to go here? Yeah, you want to go. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this is like... A weird amalgamation of like eh. super simple platforming, but also like logical leaps that I don't know how anybody would make. Yeah, this is like there was an era of childhood, and I don't know if that's just childhood or if that's just what games were like in that day, where I was I expected that I just needed to wander around every nook and cranny of a place I could reach, and maybe it, I'd eventually find something. Yeah. Uh, whereas now me is like looking for the invisible hand of the designer everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that's like an age thing or a you work in games thing. It's that's the other probably <laughs> turn around. Yep, right. you're right. All that right. is probably yeah a uh, <laughs> games in working in games thing, or I've played too many of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's the thing of just like you you end up. Um, I learned the language. Yeah. It's like. How did you know to look there? It's like, oh, well, if I was making this puzzle, I would have done this. <laughs> it's just the only way. Like, like, they gave me these three clues. There's literally nothing else I could have been. Right? Um, yeah. All right. I like, I like the, despite it having, like in Mario, you will just roll with anything you are shown mm -hmm. because it's Mario and Mr. Arrow. Yes, now, welcome to Mr. Arrow. Now the location of the boss will appear on the map. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Arrow. Thanks, Mr. Arrow. And Ellie Fant. Hey, you know, it's a living. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where he had it. Like, I, I don't know if Mr. Arrow was employed before the the castle was turned into a gigantic funhouse or whatever it is now. Um, but it's a living. Cha! Nice. That feels really good, actually. Yeah, I know. <laughs> nope. Look, I keep forgetting water's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's good. Everything is okay. But yeah, like, in a Mario, you don't walk into a space expecting to understand anything. It's all Wonderland logic. I appreciate that, despite this being set in a real historical time period, that they're all still operating by the same logic of, here's a random kind of cute and funny thing that's just going to happen in this room. Roll with it. Yep. <laughs> Are you still hung up about that histori history thing? Yeah. <laughs> we gave you aliens. What did you expect? <laughs> Receive the silver key. You're making prog ow, progress. Get out of here. Get out of here. What with throwing your balls and things? Please, no. Uh, Gigantic wait. hand? I guess so, huh? Yep. <laughs> it says not this way. Not that way. You're the boss. Yes, yes, gigantic hand. Possibly literally, now that I think it. Yeah. Is it foreshadowing, perhaps? <laughs> Who knows? It's 1999. It could be anything. <laughs> Look, it's the literal hand of the designer saying, yeah, go that is. way. Hey, idiot. <laughs> Wrong. Yep. I appreciate that. My time is valuable nowadays. 
I've definitely played a few games in the last few years where I would occasionally not mind a literal hand of the designer yeah. oh, saying cha that way. Oh, ninjas. <laughs> ninjas. Uh, ah. Ah. <laughs> They'll sneak up on you. Ow. Wait. What? Ah. More ninjas. Perhaps you'd like more ninjas. Yes. Stop it. This is just fun. Yeah, Kid Me would have gotten, like, had a great time with this. Yeah, it's fun. It, it, it is like... Now me is having a great time with it. <laughs> I know, right? Um, so just... Yeah, even just, like, actually getting to watch... I've never watched somebody play this game. Um, the, like, statue in the middle being, like, this recurring thing that you sh you get... You see the whole thing, and then that hand, like... It is... It, it's actually, like, pretty cool. <laughs> Well done. Thank you. Incredible work. Ooh, another elevator. Are you ready for this one? I think I'm ready for this one. All right. Yep. What waits above? So. Ah, hello, Baron. I was sure I heard something down there. Was it you guys? What the? Well, who in the world are you? My name is Baron. I've come to make Oedo Castle a beautiful stage. Stage? What would we need a stage for? Going on, this smells like danger to me. Why don't we just grab this weirdo by the throat? Okay, Miss Mario, let's calm down a little and beat him up a little bit. <laughs> Please calm I down. Mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with a little assault and battery, am I right? Let's we'll start with talking. <laughs> Who are you calling a weirdo? Maybe I'll just have to beat you up. Good one, Baron. Oh, Whoop. bye. Exit stage. Li <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> And that, my friends, is how you make an exit. <laughs> There's something so specifically violent about grab by the throat and yeah. beat up. <laughs> it's a very specific. I'm just Mario. Uh, you doing okay there, buddy? If it was just beat him up, I'd still feel like, okay, we're still in like some Tom and Jerry world here. But... Yeah, no, no. No, we're it's important that you that you grab the breathing apparatus. <laughs> it was him the whole time. Whoa. The King Robot Congo. Oh, gracious. Da, 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 da. Um, that's really intimidating. Ah, I think that was you hitting him. Hooray. Oh, no. That's... Yeah, nope, not fine. The unfine. Eh. Let's see. Can you figure out where to hit it? It seems like the big, the big red button. Excellent. Eh. Good sound, good sound, good sound, good sound, good sound. This is working out. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. We're fine. I get to play Jump Rope, my classic boss game. Love it. Dun, dun, Let's see Link dun. do this. Yeah. Yeah. Where's your jump button now, Link? <laughs> it's been a minute since I played Breath of the Wild. I can't even remember if that game had a jump button. Did it? Yes. I had actually did have to think for a second. Ow. Second, though, about it. <laughs> yeah. It's a good way to dodge this fire, I bet. Yeah, yeah. Somehow. Somehow. We may never win. Laser beams. Woo! Eh. Nice hops. Mad hops. Let's go. This is something like something very nostalgic about this kind of yeah, old 3D platformer boss fight stuff yeah, like that. It's, it, it's it was an it was a whole era. Yeah. Can't sneak underneath it. I'm guessing I need to like bait it out in one side and then like run all the way over. Probably. I don't remember. We'll find out. Yeah. Or maybe we won't. <laughs> also possible. Yeah. Haha, uh -huh. eat your heart out, three stage Ow. bosses. More stages. More stages. For your money. This is 1999. <laughs> we left three stages behind in 1988. <laughs> Oh, bait it out one side. Oh, too late. Too late. It's fine. You can try and beat it up. Stop Maybe the fire. if I can stop, stop the, the fire with violence. Didn't work out. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, I didn't really know why that would have worked. <laughs> or, okay. There we go. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Kaboom. half of his head is gone. Looks like progress to me. Yep.
Oh, see, we're 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 beating this guy up by the throat. It was <laughs> foreshadowing. I see. Ah. Yeah. See, it's actually incredibly deep game uh, lore. Maybe if we can do the damage fast enough. Oh, that's what we need yeah. to do. Just do damage fast enough. Fire doesn't even happen. Exactly. Let that be a lesson, kids. <laughs> at any point you need to stop a fire, just do some violence at it. <laughs> Only you can beat up forest fires. <laughs> Only you can defeat forest fires with, with weapons and violence. Quick! Ah. Bah, yeah! bah, 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 bah. Oh god, that, that, that like series of randomly timed explosions <laughs> just like metered out just perfectly. Yeah. Here's a moon! Nice. <laughs> Don't know what it's for. Da -da 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 -da. The miracle moon in the shape of the moon. Woo. <laughs> the door has opened. Yay. And Yay. we're going to go through it next time because, guys, you, I know you're probably feeling like settling in. It's like, okay, I know how this game works and what it's about. I promise you, you don't. Yep. <laughs> I promise you. We'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>